Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You should not walk in their ordinances. Let me ask you a question, sister. Uh, what's your name? Zini? Zina. Okay, you you Egyptian? So where are you from? Egypt. Okay, well, give me Isaiah. No, give me Isaiah 11, yes. I'm going to show you something about uh, our people. No, give me Deuteronomy 427. <laughs> she's from Egypt, but she's claiming. Right. That's the difference. Are you Egypt? Are you born in Egypt? Or are you just claiming you Egyptian? You were born in Egypt. Okay, well, here it is. Listen to this. 427. Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 27. I want you to look at good at this side right here. About reading screen. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, uh -huh. and you shall be left few in number uh -huh. among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. So your father's from Egypt as well. Okay, so God said he scattered the Israelites among the four corners of the earth. And we're going to be left few in numbers amongst the other nations, meaning... We're going to have a group in Haiti, group in America, North Carolina, South Carolina, Spain, India, Ethiopia. All these areas you're going to have the children of Israel dabbling in. That's right. Understand that. Now, the question, uh, I saw, sorry, I forgot your name. Gina. Zina. With a Z? Zina. So the question is, how do we know either we Egyptian or we Israel? Are we Africans or we the Israelites? How do we know? Yeah. There's no determination. Well, let me ask you this. Do you subscribe to slavery? Your answer, your answer has been to slavery. Let's give you Romans 8. We're going to find out. You're, you're right. So this is how, believe it or not, we can't get our DNA from a laboratory. You understand that, Willie? We cannot get, I'm going to say it again, we cannot learn our DNA and our ancestors through a laboratory. The ultimate DNA is what we read right here in this Bible. And I'm going to read that for you. Read that. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Uh -huh. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. So I'm going to stop right there. What is, God said the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. So now what is your spirit? He said your spirit bear witness with his word of God, which is the spirit of God. That we what? That we are the children of God. You hear that? So what is that saying? We all are his children. Not everybody in the face of the earth. Just those who can bear record or bear witness to the spirit. Now, what is the spirit? Give me John 63. I'm going to show you what the spirit is, sister. Because you said your answers have been through, been through this. We're going to fact check. You too, you right? Your answers have been through this. Slavery. You know what I'm saying? Read that. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The word. The what? The word. The what? The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit, and they are life. So the word of God is a spirit we must bear witness to. Now give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Now I'm going to show you what, what the words say. I'm bringing this out to prove what's your nationality. Because you said you Egyptian. What's your nationality? So it's just me right here. You Israel. Well, before that, what were you going to say? You black. Okay, that's a color. Her outfit is black. That ain't a nationality. That's a, that's a color. Egyptian means what it means, Mizraim? Forget what it means. Huh? Of, Egyptian means house of bondage. So when you say you're Egyptian, you call this I'm a house of bondage. So what I'm showing you is your nationality comes from your father. It don't come from a landmass. It don't come from a object. Your nationality comes from your father's name. Read that uh Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1, then we're gonna go to that. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. The who? With the children of Israel. So God didn't say the children of Egyptians. He didn't say the children of black. He said, These are the words I made with the children of 
Israel. Now this is how you're going to prove that you're Israel. Based on what we read, Romans said, you bear witness to what you're hearing coming out of this Bible. You bear witness. You know, everybody knows slavery happened. That's in the underlying truth, right? What we're going to show you is it was prophesied biblically prior to it happening. That's, right. that's what we're going to show you, and that's how we know we could bear witness to it. Now go back to 28, 69. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Look at God, looks at God. And the Lord shall bring thee into the into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. Now look down here, sister. See that? Don't, don't lose me. Here you see ships. We were stick the sardines on boats, and we was transformed from the shores of Africa, I'm sorry, right here, to South America, to North America. We were shipped. You know that historically happened. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Because Egypt, we just proved that it means bondage. He said, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. That's why this happened. This didn't. When we read it here, it didn't happen back then. And it this happened in 1619, 1492. Understand that. So this is a prophecy that Moses said what happened to who? See? What did he call the people? Yeah, what did, he, what did he call them? We just read it. What did he call them? Did he call them Egyptians? What did he call them? What did he call them? No, he didn't call them slaves. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make. With the children of Israel. And who? The children of Israel. So who did he, so who did he call the people? Children of Israel. Who did he call the people? Children of Israel. Hold up before you go. Before you go, I know. What does that make your national? Are you Egyptian or are you Israel? Because he said the Israelites will go in slavery. Did your ancestors go in slavery? Yes or no? He said, yeah. What you saying? So your ancestors didn't go to slavery? They own slave, but you just say your ass is with the slavery. But now you're changing this. Or your mother's side, so your daddy owns slave. Okay. So that makes you, you so you think you eat, so that makes you Egyptian then. Well, guess what the Lord said about that? Exodus 11 to 7. Give me Exodus 11 to 7. Since you bear witness to that, we're going to go back to 11 to 7. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, brother? What's your question, brother? Come on. I said, I want to know how nationality solved the problem of a love of money. Okay, give me uh, Romans 15 and 4. You know for a man path, he didn't know his path, he got to know where what? Where you going? No, he got to know where he comes from. Okay, read that for me. I'm going to show you. Because you, I'm just, just going to ask you a question. For me to know how to walk, for me to know how where to go, I got to know my customs, my heritage, what to eat, how my people dress, what was required of me. Who God I should serve? Because there's a lot of false gods on the earth. There's a lot of false attire I should dress like. There's a lot of false idols I should follow. How do I know which one to follow? If I don't know my past. Read that. Romans 15 to 4. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. What was it written for? We're written for our learning. Aforetime mean in the past. Whatever was written in the past is written for us today. For us to learn how to walk, how to carry ourselves, how to speak, how to dress, what to eat, who to marry, all these things. I gotta know my I gotta know my heritage, brother. Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now give me Jeremiah 17. Those those customs, those records that we gotta read, is gonna give us hope to how to carry ourselves. And now I know how to teach my kids. Like you know, you know, you know the white man, right? This is what the white man do. It's something that's called generational wealth. The white man creates a business. He creates a trust funds. 
he put the funds in the business and he leaves the funds behind for his kids. Right. Not for them to use it how they feel, but it's stipulations in the trust that they must abide by to be able to be successful. Understand that. And if they don't abide by it, do they get the funds? They don't get access to the funds. And this is what creates a generational wealth. That's why you ever hear George Washington, he got old money. He got slavery money. He's talking about old Benjamin. Ain't that new stuff they put it right now. Read that for me. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Do what? To serve thine enemies. Now he's going to explain why it happened. Read on. In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger. Meaning we piss God off. So he said, I'm going to make you serve your enemy. I'm going to take your heritage from you. So now you're going to start serving Q-Dog. You, you was once a Q-Dog, right? You're going to start getting all these other uh, uh, no, witchcraft no. idols. Q-Dog. Uh, what else they got in college? They got Spinks. Spinks. Uh, uh, what else? So now you're going to start putting idol forms on your on your body? Like the horseshoe? Nope. All these are idols, brother. Not, and then not only that, you got to be accepted in that thing. You got to do certain rituals to get in that thing. Right, right or wrong? That's form of idolatry, brother. We don't. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, yeah. which shall burn forever. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Cursed be the what? Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Meaning you believe a man that told you about Q-Dog in a horseshoe is a form of a frat, brother. You should, It's a brotherhood that you could join. To be, but it's all Greekish fashion. I'm going to show you pro historically where it came from. You want to see it, brother? Because you said don't go on history. No, no, no. That's not what I asked. Okay, what you said? I was looking for a solutionary answer okay. to solve love of money using nationality. To solve what you said? The love of money that our people are suffering people on the earth. So you want to know why, how does nationality solve the love of money? Yeah, solve the love of money. Yeah, that's Marcus Jefferson. I mean, you and I, yeah, yeah. So you, so, so you want to you, you wanna go into economics. You want economics? No, no, no. no. Okay. I want to hear... That's not the because we were talking about how to solve problems. Six and 10. How to solve problems with our people. And one of the problems that I'm focused on solving is love of money. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the nationality play in that way. Okay, give me second Timothy six and ten. Yeah, first, first Timothy, chapter six, verse ten. Yep. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Right. So money is a defense. Solomon told us that. But the love of it, putting it before God, is evil. Right, right, right. So it's from idolatry. You know how we solve that? Exodus 20 and 5. I'm going to show you. This is the law. Because anything you put before God is a form of what? Idolatry. I'm going to show you the law. What it says that? Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Thou shalt, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Any of, you can put anything in that. Take the word God out of it and put anything, any vice that you're dealing with in that position. It could be women. It could be your kids. It could be money. It could be your job. It could be anything in the world you think of that you put before God. Anything you put before God is a form of idolatry. So God said, what? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. And he's gonna tell you what you're not gonna do with it. Read on. Thou shalt not bow down. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, am I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. So now, to answer your question, history, my nationality, I need to know that to be able to walk properly, to know not to put a horseshoe on my skin, to get tattoos. I need to know the law. So we got to go historically. For me to know the law, I got to know who my people are. When I learn my people, when I know my nationality, then I got to observe their heritage. Surah 1711. Because then I'm going to know what God gave them to observe, to teach their kids, which they didn't, because we learned after Christianity and all that, and we lost that. So now today, us on earth got to do what? We got to go back to ancient texts. But before us to go to ancient texts, I got to see myself in the Bible. I got to see my ancestors. I can't look at it and say, it's the white man. That's all, all of, a lot of us say we don't believe in the Bible because we don't see ourselves in it. But believe it or not, the people in this book look just like you and I. That's right.
They don't look like this. They don't look like him. But that's what it was taught. But believe it or not, brother, King David was black. King Solomon was black. The right. Messiah is black. That's right. right. Abraham was black. Right. Jonah is black. Right. Adam is black. That's right. Read that for me. Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17, verse 11. Uh -huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them, God said, besides, I, besides me giving them names and nationality, he gave those what? He gave them knowledge Read. and the law of life for inheritance. What is our heritage? The law of life for inheritance. You understand that, brother? I know you got to go. You understand that? What does God just gave us? He gave us knowledge by what way? How did he put the gave us? What did he say, by life? Read it again. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. He gave us knowledge. Knowledge to know our nationality and our names. Read. And the law of life. I answer your question, my brother. You, you drifting away. Come on back. I don't want you to leave. I, I, I just want to let, just. Right, before, before I go, I want to know. Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure you're good. You good? I'm good. I'm good. So, why do we got to learn our nationality? It helps us know where we come from. Okay, then when we know where we come from, we know how to reattach to the rituals that are those people, your people, your ancestors are listening. Our heritage. Your heritage. There you go. All praise. Now, what you got, brother? What you going like, to say? Like, like for, for example, for my. Now, me, I'm uh -huh. somebody who would be. My ideas are almost radical. Okay. Almost to, to, to the to the point to where I can't have an intelligent conversation with somebody who can actually sit there and debate with me without upsetting them. Right? Okay. Let me ask. Let, before you continue, let me ask you this, mm -hmm. so we can see see we're on the same playing field. Absolutely. Everything I'm gonna give you will be in a response from what text I'm gonna read from. Uh, I guess the Bible. The Bible, 100. Right. percent So, so before we continue, I'm gonna ask you: Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, in, the, in, in the English language, absolutely not. Okay. So you believe in the Hebrew, 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 Hebrew language? Hebrew, 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 okay. Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew and Arabic? Okay. Sure, but that translation, there's so many things that are. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you know King James? Yeah, a terrible molested guy. Okay, yeah. okay. That's why I got to go there. So now, who got the Bible? Zonavad dictionary. Okay, yeah. we'll get it. Okay, so now. Let me say something. Just real quick. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Just real quick. Uh, right. You're right. What I just said. But I, exactly. You have to still translate. Exactly, exactly. So, what you're saying about the language don't matter to you because you don't speak the other language, right? No, no that's Straight not right. To, do you speak the other language? No. You speak Greek? No. You speak no, Aramaic? No. You speak no. Latin? No. So, how can you have a debate about language when because you don't speak the there, language? If I sit there and break down. But you don't speak I, the language. I don't have to. What dictionary are you going to use? You ask me a question, let me answer it. What dictionary will you use to break down the language? Somebody who speaks the language. Let me ask the question. What dictionary will you use to break down the language? Whichever one I want to use. None of them agree. None of, the, none of the Greek, none of, none of the Greek dictionaries agree. Oh, okay. None of them. But instead of just understanding what I'm Listen saying, to me. None of the dictionaries yeah, agree. So which one do you use? That's it. That's it. You smart. You said you radical. You said people can't debate with you, and you running away. So you talking about language? So I'm asking you about language. Right. So you're telling me what language do you speak? 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 Do you speak? Spanish and English. Okay, so if the Bible is written in English, you can understand English, right? Right, I can understand. If it was written in Hebrew, could you understand it? No, I couldn't. What dictionary would you use to break down ancient Hebrew? Whatever dictionary you might. So you don't know what dictionary you would use. So you're coming at a standpoint of you don't understand even the translations that you're trying to use or the dictionaries. Listen, hold up. No, or the dictionaries you would use. Well, what dictionary would you use? You just said you don't know. You just said you don't know. I don't take the Bible. So the thing is, is you can't take it verbatim because you don't want to take it verbatim. Because you want to use an excuse. You want to use an excuse. Your excuse is, I don't deal with the Bible because I don't speak Hebrew. Your excuse is that I don't believe in the Bible because what? Because you don't speak a different language. No, I said that you can't. No, right. the points in the Bible, everything that's in the Bible is meant to, that's how you're supposed to live your life. Okay. Do I take it as a, as a historical piece of text so now, so now to where question. everything is accurate? So now, so no, look, I do not. So now question, right? You. Now you don't take it how everything is accurate. No, it's not. What's your nationality? I'm D I'm German and Dominican. German and but that's not on the father side. Which one is yours? That that's neither here or there. D my oh, I'm asking the question. Dominican, right? So you're Dominican according to the Bible. Let me show you why. Give me Numbers chapter one verse eighteen. No, I'm that's what I'm gonna show you. No, I'm a, we're, we're now, a I'm gonna show you thing. what the Bible says. That's how what the Bible says. No, that that's your nationality. Right. Because the right. seed comes through the woman or the man. 
I, I don't Which one? That part doesn't the matter. Comes through the woman or the man? Because we, we just jumped to like four different subjects. From? We just jumped to like the four different subjects. The woman or the man? That's not what we was just talking yeah, about. We're talking about the validity of the Bible. I just changed the, so yeah, the I don't agree from that. the woman or the man. The Bible says the wicked flee with no man pursuing. Yeah, that's that's right. But right. the righteous are as right. bold right. as a lion. Right. 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 You're not radical. Neither you're damn, bro. Read that. You're not radical. You're a coward. That's what you are. You're a coward. Read Numbers chapter 1. Give me that. Emotional. Proverbs 28 verse 1. Emotional. You're not radical. Radical can stand on that square. Read Proverbs 28 verse 1. These brothers say they're radical, but they're not doing that. You, 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 what you going to do? You going to answer the question? You say you radical. You like, I'm radical. And people can't usually get in touch with me without arguing, right? You not, you not challenge me? I asked you a question and you right. ran. So the challenge was on you and you couldn't stand on your square. So let's read chapter Numbers verse 18 Nothing. real quick. Numbers yeah, verse 18. So what's your nationality, brother? Don't, don't worry about we that. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. Okay, so what matters? We about to show the validity of the Bible right here. Y'all are supposed to be for black people. You just We are for black people. Well, you ran, so that was cowardly. It doesn't matter. It was facts. But why would you not bring me up? Bro? I tried to why bring you up. Bring I tried to bring you up. I, and you was a coward when you walked away. I didn't say you didn't agree with me. Let's read the Bible real quick. Read Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Let me show you something about your nationality. You don't believe in the Bible. How are you going to say God don't promote it and you don't believe in the Bible? That's the foolishness of our people. Now read this real quick. Number, you don't have to give, give an F about it. You don't have to care about it. That's why we're on the bottom today, because of brothers like you that don't give a damn about the word of God. Read that. Give me that Proverbs 28, verse 1, one more time. Read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee. The wicked and cowardly flee. Read. When no man pursue it. But the righteous are bold as a lion. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Oh!